after Thanksgiving now. What a wonderful first night at Anchor cruising this season. We're going to take off today and head for Vieques. So uh, it should be about a 24 mile sail. Yeah, it looks like a really nice day out today. It's awesome. You can see El Yunque there. There's no clouds on it today. It's just beautiful here. So uh, yeah. One tie from the mooring. Head south over there, around the tip of Vieques, and get to the south side. Lindy, you getting things ready down here? Yep. Looks like uh, we might not have a disaster if we start healing or something. It's always a risk. <laughs> Least of. Yep. Outside of the anchorage. Sails up. Sails up. Boy, it's going to be a nice day, I can tell. Okay, we're just on a beam reach. We've got the sails set up. It is beautiful. get much better than this. So pretty. Wow, this is going to be a great day. Oh, here comes what? Sunitas. Wow. It's just a beautiful sailing day. What do you think about this sailing day, Linda? I think it's uh, delightful. <laughs> the wind went to absolutely zero and we're doing a little motoring now. We're coming uh, to round the western tip of Vieques. And we're getting pretty close to it. We can see St. Thomas for the first time. Uh, Visibility is really good today. That's pretty crazy. Calabra is the thing in the foreground here. Sunita's still behind us and our friends Herman and Adele uh, caught up with us today too on Willful. So we'll all be uh, anchoring together at Sunday. Just enough wind to fill the sails. We were tired of hearing the motor, so we're doing a little slow sailing. We're on the south coast of Vieques now. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is maybe a perfect day.
Anchor's going down. Willful over here. This is Sunday. Sunitas over here. Little beach for us to hang out on. All right, nice sail today. Here in Sun Bay, we've just been chilling out all afternoon. Now Lindy's making some chicken and veggie pasta dish. It's gonna be yummy. Mmm, all right. Little bit of sunset color over there. Got the dinghy out and just sort of ran it around uh, just to check the motor. It did fine and yeah, that's it. Tomorrow we'll uh, go to shore and start exploring Vieques. After a few weeks of boat work in Fajardo, then finally getting away to Los Palominos on Thanksgiving Day, we were excited to be in Sun Bay at Vieques for our second full day of cruising of the season. The sailing had been amazing and the beautiful scenery here had us excited to explore the area. On the south side of Vieques, Sun Bay was the perfect place to hang out for a few days while some north swell rolled in due to a front stalled out hundreds of miles north in the Atlantic. The anchorage was flat, calm, and comfortable with crystal clear blue water. We could see that Sun Bay was rimmed with a nice sandy beach for hanging out, and we had heard that free roaming horses would be hanging out there too, as well as all over the island of Vieques. Also, Sun Bay is adjacent to Vieques' second largest city, Esperanza, as well as the famous bioluminescent bay, the perfect place to start our cruising of the Spanish Virgin Islands. First beach trip of the season. Whoop whoop. Yay. Ready for this? Yes. Oh man, I think this beach is going to be awesome. Herman and Adele here. I think Mike and Jen are gonna come up too. One of the horses just tried to get in Herman's bag. <laughs> wow. Oh wow, more of them over there. Very cool. All right, we've got the beach area set up and I'm about ready to jump in the water. I thought I'd walk over here and see if I could get a little bit better picture of some more of these horses. Got some lots of little little ones. Yeah, and they're everywhere. All right, it's time to get in the water. It is nice.
Anchorage over here and we're gonna go to the town of Esperanza which is just over this direction it's the uh, large-ish town of note on the southern shore here and then there's one large town called Isabella Segunda on the northern coast which we're gonna see later should be pretty cool check out Vieques life with only about 10,000 people, the large island of Vieques is fairly sparsely populated, especially compared to the main island of Puerto Rico. And compared to the hustle and bustle of mainland Puerto Rico, we were expecting to find a laid-back small-town feel here in Esperanza. We took off across Sun Bay for a little less than 10-minute dinghy ride to town. Got the dinghies tied up. Time to go check out the town. afternoon in Esperanza was a hit, a fun time was had by all, and now the sun's getting low. Time to head back to the anchorage. All right. The mountainous tropical island of Vieques is 20 miles long by 4.5 miles wide. Vieques and the island of Calabria make up what are commonly called the Spanish Virgin Islands. Part of Puerto Rico, the Spanish Virgin Islands lie a few miles east of mainland Puerto Rico and about 20 miles west of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Originally colonized by Spain, the Spanish Virgin Islands, along with mainland Puerto Rico, were ceded to the United States in 1898. Vieques has a complex history with the United States due to a naval 
naval base that was established there during World War II, and later used as a testing ground for bombing and munitions. After years of protesting, the Navy departed in 2003, but to this day, many anchorages are off limits to boats due to the presence of unexploded ordnance. We wanted to see more of this interesting, beautiful island, so we rented a van with Sanitas and Willful to check it out. <laughs> Thank you.
we're at the end of the tour back at Esperanza and we've come to this local cafe here. Now it's time for us to head out to the Bio Bay tour. You ready, Lindy? I'm ready. All right. And uh, they say that uh, you can't really pick up anything on video, but we're going to give it a go anyway. So, uh, all right, time to head up the shore and they're going to pick us up and take us along. The brightest bioluminescent bay in the world is adjacent to the Anchorage at Sun Bay. Aided by the nutrients from this salt pond just behind the beach and the mangrove ecosystem lining its shores, Mosquito Bay has an extremely high concentration of phosphorescent organisms. Let's go check it out. So we got up here in the dark and a yellow school bus just stopped and is picking us up. Hello. It's time to go to the bio bay. <laughs> Herman, go back to the Rolly. Alright, we're here now at the bay. All kinds of cool noises. Got frogs and different things here. Come over here, guys. Come over here, guys. I feel like there won't be any picture on this video because it's completely dark out here. We're paddling across the Bio Bay, and it's very pretty. All right, Lindy, make some make some bioluminescence. Uh, oh wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's like really lighting up. That's crazy. Okay, here's the last shot because the moon's completely covered. Let's see if we can see it. I don't know if it's possible to see it. On video, we'll be able to. Here, yeah, yeah, go ahead, Lindy. Do it again. All right. I mean, it's just glowing like crazy. Okay, we're back in from the Bio Bay tour. We've come in, taken a shower. The boat is rocking all around because the swell is coming into the bay now. That was one of the most amazing things that I've ever seen. Uh, the, the bioluminescence was just sparkling everywhere. It was so bright. It was uh, better even than I had expected. So, All right, we're going to get some sleep, and then it'll be time to head for Culebra tomorrow, about 30 miles. So we'll get started early, and it'll take us about uh, six hours or so. All right, see you all tomorrow. Your head may be in that a little bit. It's fine, but yeah, just so you know.